I am the future. 30 years into the future. I'm really excited about filming today. If you've watched the Back to the Future series, we are now 30 years in the future where Doc sent Marty, October 21st, 2015. Yay! So I'm filming this video like 30 years later. Hi everyone, Miranda here. So today I have my September and October book haul. I am very, very excited to bring this to you. These last two months I have hauled some wonderful, wonderful books at Book Expo Australia when I went the other week. Some I ended up getting from my friends, like I'm borrowing them. And some books I got given by publishing houses or authors. So without further ado, let's get to the physical copies that I got at Book Expo Australia. So the first books I got by the lovely Laura is Time Shifters Book 2 Beyond the Veil. Now I have reviewed the first book on this on my channel. She gave me the second one, which is completely awesome. And um, yeah, she signed it for me on the inside. There we go, look at that. I just realized at the very back of the book, I mentioned in the acknowledgement. So thank you, thank you so much to Laura for mentioning me. She says, to Miranda from Books 101, you rock. Thank you for getting behind the series and being so passionate about the characters. And of course, because I absolutely love this book. It was so much fun to read. The next book that I got by her was Visions. And I'm very excited to read this. You've probably seen this in bookstores, I know I have. This is a little bit different from Time Shifters, but I'm still looking forward to giving it a go and reading it. So I'll read you the blurb. When you have the power in your hands, do you choose your fate or does your fate choose you? Isabel is career driven with a careful plan. Back when her life made sense, now she's trying to keep a secret, keep her job and keep everyone around her alive. Isabel doesn't know how or why the vision started. Seek change in potentially life-threatening situations Force her to decide what she's willing to do and sacrifice in order to save the people in her vision. There's Matt, the handsome stranger she saves from a terrible accident. Uh, they're fated to meet, but are they fated to be together? Then there's Jeremy, her thoughtful neighbour who's down on his luck. Can she trust him with her secret? But here's another man haunting her dreams who will leave her questioning everything. <laughs> Guys. At Book Expo, Sandra was giving away some free books. And I ended up getting this book, which is Eeny Meeny. At first, nobody believed it. I think what really got me with this was kind of in a box, but when I saw the cover, I'm like, ooh. You know that feeling when you just, you, you really get excited or you're just like, ooh, and it intrigues you. Girl emerged from the woods, traumatized, close to death. But alive. Her story seemed too terrible to be true. When days later another desperate survivor is found, a pattern becomes clear. Pairs of victims are being abducted, imprisoned, then forced to make a terrible choice. Which would you sacrifice? Your life? Or your conscience. Yeah, it just kind of got me. I was really interested. I went to that Sydney bookstore that's really hard to pronounce. Kino Q R Q and the other one. I ended up getting everything, everything. I have a um, digital copy of it, but I really wanted a physical copy of it. Oh my gosh, it's just so good. I let it. And we now have a group called the Reading Rip Setters, and that started by Jess. We did this for our monthly read along, and it was fantastic. I loved it. It was the big twist in it. Live life in a bubble, or risk everything for life. Love. Maddie is allergic to the world. She hasn't left her house in 17 years, so you can already imagine what this girl must be really like. If I was trapped in my room for 17 bloody years, I'd be like, traumatized. Ollie is the boy next door who's determined to find a way to reach her. Everything, everything is about the crazy risks we take for love. The final Lux novel opposition! Yay! I can't find this anywhere in Melbourne, so. I uh, found it, of course, in that Sydney bookstore where Angus found it for me. This series is absolutely wicked. Make sure that you get on it. The first one is Obsidian. I scored this cool bookmark at the booktube name, YA Chronicles, and uh, hashtag love of YA. Also, I ended up scoring um, this fantastic little poster that Angus made. Ooh. He did this on his channel, so I'll make sure to go check it out. It's really, really cool. And he was handing out all these posters at the expo, and he signed it there and uh, she signed it there and I was like oh my god this is so cool and I think he did a fabulous job with it it's really really awesome it looks so professional like I actually thought it was really professional by Sarah Benson I got this book Born of Shadow look at that cover that is hot and she sent me a lovely little message on the inside Miranda thanks so much for taking the time to check out my book enjoy the adventure so oh my god it's a spider web okay that just freaked me out this is spider web like okay. anyway this is book one of the Shadow Wars series I sent birthday, Cammy receives a mysterious artifact and a ticket to visit her grandparents in Egypt. When she arrives, no one is there to meet her. Alone and in an unfamiliar country, she quickly discovers her missing grandparents are only part of a greater threat. Whispers of strange creatures made of shadowy substance 
can be heard among the Norman. A new queen has quietly come to power, given strength by the powerful evil. She won't stop until she finds the remains of Alexander the Great. Convinced that his body holds the secret to becoming a god. I love to thank Hotkey Books for the next three books. The first one is When I Was Me by Hello Freeman. And uh, One Girl, Two Lies, Which One Is Real? If you can't trust yourself, then who can you trust? When Ella wakes up on Monday morning, she discovers that she's not herself and that her life is not her own. She looks different, her friends are no longer her friends, and her existence has been erased from the internet. Oh my god, it's like her Facebook has been erased. For Ella worries she has gone mad, especially as nobody else thinks anything weird has happened. All of the above by James Dawson and this is a really great book. Um, I can't really read it and I'm just like I love it. The 16 year old Toria moves to the faded seaside town of Brompton on sea. She doesn't expect to fall in love once let alone twice but life has a habit of pulling you in strange directions and when it comes to matters of the heart sometimes you just have to let go, be free and let love choose you. The last book I received from Hot Key Books and thank you so much for that is this book The Big Lie by Julie Matthews. Nazi England 2014. Jessica Keller is a good girl. Her best friend is not so submissive, passionately different. Clem is outspoken, dangerous, radical. Jess cannot keep both her perfect life and her dearest friend her first love, but which can she live without? I will be reviewing them when I can shortly. The next book I received was by Laura Tisdale and that is Echo and this book looks really awesome, I love the cover. Mathematical genius Mallory is living two lives. In one she's balancing senior with looking after her little brother and troubled ex marine father. In the other she spends her life glued to her laptop breaking into some of the world's most secure systems. Into the world's most secure systems as the hacker Echo 6. Mm, so she lives like a double life. There's a lot of double life books going on in this haul. So thank you so much for the authors for sending this to me and I'll be reviewing it soon. Darkness Before Dawn. Thank you to Macmillan. I got this book. Basically Towers of Thorns, a Blackthorn and Grim novel. And this is the sequel to a Dreamer's Pool. I haven't read the first one but I'm going to need it because before I read this one I'm going to have to know what happened in the first one. But thank you so much for sending me this book. I highly appreciate it. And I will get on it shortly once I've read the first one. Next two books um, I am borrowing from my friend Hardy. I am Malala and uh, the girl who stood up for education and was shot by the Taliban. I'm really interested in reading it because I've heard uh, a lot of good things about it. And the second book is this book, Forbidden Love, a true story of love and revenge in Jordan. So I'm really looking forward to that and it's a love story. My heart goes like that. So for the digital books, um, the first one that I ended up getting was Wild Thing. And I got Wild Thing by Lou Luke J. Kendall, who I met at Book Expo Australia, and he's really awesome. He just started a booktubing channel. He wrote a book, and he's like, Miranda, do you want to like review it and um, give me some feedback on it? I'm like, sure. Even though it may take a while for me to review books because I have a lot to get through, uh, I still want to take it on. In 2035, magic returned to a world which neither needed nor wanted it. Several years later, an unusual young child is acquired by Dr. Alex Harmon for his magic research. He sets Sarah to hunting an imaginary creature and ways both real and far more dangerous than anyone could know. Sarah too, though, has her own hidden deaths. But when Sarah's unique magic finally unfolds, Harmon discovers the deadly consequences of creating. So just by looking at the cover, this is fantastic. Run. By Chris Lametta. And oh, this book sounds really cute. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Caught between the sweltering full landscape of Wellington and MC, beaches and subtle illusions and expectations, all 16 year old Cameron Shea thinks about his art. That and Farrar to view him as a more than just a friend. Cameron longs to win her heart through art. After several warm interactions, including painting together at the beach, Cameron discovers just how complex Farrar's life is with her boyfriend and her family. Following a tense run in with Farrar's father, she forbids Cameron to ever speak to her again, but Cameron's convinced there's more behind the request. So basically, this seems really, really good, and to impress Farrar with last ditch effort, Cameron sketches her portrait, but the sketchbook he uses hides a dark secret. Ooh. So I think that's where the story begins. I'm really excited to get on that. Thank you so much for the author for sending it to me. The next book I received was this book, which is Blood Relins by Oria Wish. This is the second book in the Bloodmark saga. Again, I haven't read the first one, but um, I'll have to get on it. The first one's Bloodmark, so I'm gonna get on that before I read the second one and hopefully review it. These are the books that I hauled this month. I hope you enjoyed it. Tell me what you hauled down below. I'd really love to know. And also I'll link down below the Book Expo Australia vlog 
so you can check out all the lovely booktubers I met or that I got to see again and the, the bookish fun that we had in Sydney as well as the Sydney trip. I am Miranda, thank you so much for watching. See ya!